man. We back. Good fella Sports TV. Moving this morning. And um, yeah, man, I, I ran to an interesting article on BET and then she actually came a shell. Actually did an interview on uh uh one Atlanta radio station. I'm gonna learn her name. Got big Tigger and them on there sometime. And she says she just doesn't think men are good people. All right. I usually try to stay away from the relationship talk, try to keep it on the Patreon or something like that. But um, let's talk about it, man. She said men, she don't think men are good people. And it sounds like she's a toxic mother because she said that her son is giving her hell and she don't want to raise another one. If she had more kids, she uh, she wants to have girls. See, that kind of trickles down and you're going to see how I, I kind of make it correlate or, or make it connect. Um, and how a toxic mother can be can create a toxic toxic man. Now, she was just saying like you know, men can do small things to cheat on their woman, knowing it's gonna hurt them and destroy their relationship and stuff of that nature. Now, yeah, at the end of the day, some some I mean some men cheat, you know what I'm saying, and, and some women cheat too, you know what I'm saying. So. It's just something you can't control if you, you know, your man cheating on you and y'all in the, y'all, y'all in the casual, I won't say casual relationship, y'all in the, you know, regular relationship and you still marry him, you forgive him for cheating, then you enable that, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's just what it is. So just don't be like, oh, you know, all men are bad because the men you mess with are bad. At the end of the day, that nice man that, uh, you know, I know she's a singer. I don't know none of her songs. I thought she was Keisha Cole till I seen her booty, you know, a few years ago. But, you know, just because the man that you are dealing with, you know, are are, are are cheating and that's the type of guy you like, the same guy for some women that go hand and foot, hand, hand and wait on you hand and foot, that bring you lunch to your job, you know, that 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 give you that give you a couple dollars, that's there for you in your messed up times, you keep them in the friend zone. Or you don't want to give them no play. And then you you wonder why you know uh, you know the brother you know the brother go over there and he get with the white girl you know what I'm saying or he he go get with the other or he go get with the next girl he go get with your friend most most women like a particular type of guy and they and they they scared to take a leap of faith and try something different you know what I'm saying or they don't want to I only say lower your standards they just don't want to get that type of guy a chance maybe he too nice or or maybe he ain't thuggish enough or 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 or, or maybe whatever the situation may be you know what i'm saying and they don't they don't want to switch nothing up and it's kind of like somebody being at the same job for 10 15 years you know what i'm saying um you know what it may be a better position out there but they scared to take a leap of faith because they so stuck in doing the same thing over and over again they're doing the same thing over and over again. They're scared to take a leap of faith and try something different. they comfortable. And maybe she in her comfort zone with the same type of men. You're going to get the same type of results. If you go, if you, if you're a woman and you go into the club looking for love and you keep going to the club, you keep getting these dudes that just hit and quit and, or, or one night stand. And then you say, okay, I'm making, you know, come, I'm making wait a couple weeks or a month. And then he hit and then he don't call you back or any horny or call you out the blue when he horny in the middle of the night. At the end of the day, you're going to keep going to the club looking for them type of dudes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You keep getting the hood dudes that ain't educated, that all they know is street money. You know what I'm saying? All they know is to be in the street and, 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 and mess with different hood rats and come back home to you. What you expect? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seriously, what do you expect? You know, if you... It's, it's crazy, man. And, and women, and women want to sit there and deem all the brothers bad or all the men bad because of their experiences though but that same guy that that will go out that way for you that same guy that will wait on you hand and foot that same guy that'll pick you up from work that'll change your tire that'll pay for your car to get fixed the same guy that come home to you that do his job every day you know them the ones that the women don't want but you know what and another thing women act like they never the problem in a relationship notice notice no woman in history have ever said, oh man, you know, I messed up. I should have been better. Not while they're younger. Maybe when they get older, that's the situation. But they don't make no mistakes. When it's a relationship, it's all Tyrone fault. Oh, Tyrone this or Tyrone that. Or, or he should have did better this. Or or he. what about you? You know what I'm saying? 
you nagging all the time. Ain't nothing never good enough. No matter how perfect a man is in a relationship, it ain't never good enough for a woman. A woman demand more than you out of a more than out of a woman demands more out of a man than a championship caliber coach <laughs> or a championship caliber team. It ain't never good enough. They always want drama, and if things going good, then they want to watch love and hip hop, or they want to get get in somebody else drama at work. Women want drama. So if you trying to you trying to form yourself to make you perfect for make make you know yourself perfect for a woman, it's not gonna happen. They never the problem. You know what I'm saying? You gaining 30, 40, 50 pounds, being lazy, laying at home, and your man going to work work all day. Y'all got a, a old school type of uh, uh, relationship where he going to get the bread, and all you gotta do is hold the house down, and you and you not doing nothing else. You're not going to better yourself. You're not working out. You gain 30, 40, 60 pounds. You know what I'm saying? What you expect him to do? Still love you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You laying around, you lazy, you not doing nothing? Like, come on, man. You not holding the house down, you not cleaning, you not cooking? What you expect? They don't see what they do wrong. You know what I'm saying? Never. So she'll lead you to believe by watching an interview that she's doing nothing wrong. When you look at a situation and you got multiple failed relationships with men, or with the woman, you gotta look and say, "Hey, how can I be better?" And if and if you are not relationship material, which some men may not be until they get older, well, you gotta recognize that you can't play with women's emotions. But women, women, they they never do nothing wrong in a relationship. But then again, the one constant variable in a relationship and it's filling with multiple partners, and I'm I assume she's 30, 30 some years old, maybe forty. You know what I'm saying? The one constant variable is you. Bob plus K Michelle. Brandon plus K Michelle fell. David plus K Michelle fell. Terrell plus K Michelle fell. Equal failure. Hey, Bob, David, Terrell, Brandon, they all, all of them is changeable variables. The one variable that don't change is K Michelle. So what are you not doing to make a relationship successful? You know what I'm saying? Is, is, is your, your your hot box just not popping? You know what I'm saying? Are you born in the bed? You know what I'm saying? Are you not submitting? Are you trying to be the boss? Are you trying to dominate a man? You know what I'm saying? Are you not able to cook and clean? It's something that you're not offering. It's something that you're not doing. And if you're not capable of doing it, then at the end of the day, you need to find a man that doesn't demand that or that's happy with what you bring to the table. But, you know, and then she goes on about her son. You know what I'm saying? And she said, oh, it's hard raising a black man. And long story short, he went out with a white girl without my permission. And dated a white girl. We black. We don't, we, I'm paraphrasing. We don't do that. And, 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 and you know what? It's so hard raising him. At the end of the day, and she goes on to say, I don't want another, I don't want to raise another man. I, if I do, I want, I want two girls. At the end of the day, how, even if she didn't never say that to that boy, right? And I assume her son is a teenager and he can run off wherever he want to. I see why he went to go get a white girl dealing with your, your toxic ass. You know what I'm saying? Very toxic. You ran him to go get a white girl. You know what? And if you got a certain, and she probably got some type of feelings towards his daddy. And you know he got his daddy traits. You know what I'm saying? Look like him, act like him and stuff of that nature. And they probably chop it up. I don't know if he in his life or not, but they probably chop it up. But that negative energy, how long she been having that negative energy for that for that boy? Because us as human beings, you don't have to say it. You know what I'm saying? You can feel it. A kid can feel it. A man can feel it. A girl can feel it. A teenager can feel it. You know what I'm saying? So how long she been having a negative energy for 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 her son? How long she been saying, "Oh man, I don't, I'm tired of men, and and I'm sick of men, and and this and that, and this and that." And your son is inspired, is going to grow up and aspire to be the man, the, to be a man and be a great man or whatever man he chooses to be. And your toxic self, K. Michelle, sitting here, you know, being negative. Oh, I'm tired of men. I don't want to raise him, and he being tough on me. Like, do you really make it public? You see how toxic women. Toxic black women in this situation can turn a, 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 a black man to go get a white woman. Can you see that? 
Well, if your mom felt that way towards you, and it's supposed to be unconditional love, right? And it don't seem too unconditional there. And, and she says she don't want to have another son because of you. Really, it's because of the, the daddy. That's what it boiled down to. And she pushing him. She pushing him to go get a white girl. She pushing him to try outside the race, to go outside his race. If y'all so black and you raised him to be black, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you talking about the Black Panthers and y'all seen all the Spike Lee movies and, and all of this and you raised him to be so black, where do you go wrong at? Seriously, where did you go wrong at? That, that's a real serious question that you went wrong because you, ne you, you, you just negative. You got a problem with men and you raising the men. You supposed to build you supposed to build that you supposed to build your son up in the image that you want a man to be. So at the end of the day, you failed him. You see how she how her, how, how toxic she is to just turn her son to go to turn her son to, to go get a white a white boy? Like, come on. The white girl, excuse me. How can you how can you expect to have a, a successful relationship, right? With a man. And you don't even love your own son. You know what I'm saying? You got hate towards your own son. And it, and it is tough raising a, 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 a teenager in general. Teenage girls are by far worse than raising teenage boys in most situations. Trust me, I know. So don't try to make it seem like, oh, raising girls is, 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 is a breeze. And raising boys is so hard. It may be hard for you as a woman. But she just, like I said before, this this the type of stuff that you get. And she got she got a ton of money and she still, she still, you know, thinking like this and, and, and moving like this and whatever. And she still can't find love and happiness. You know what I'm saying? And, and imagine, imagine how many other women that's in middle class or lower class or on welfare or who out there that's doing well for themselves that think just like her, bro. They don't see nothing wrong with they doing in these relationships. They feel they perfect. Because you, because you got a fat ass and your body fake. You know what I'm saying? And sit out here and, 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 and generalize men. But as soon as men generalize women, women, all women want is child support, and all of them is Me Too movement. Oh, you, you, you can't generalize us. Don't generalize men. The men that you pick. All right. It's the men that you pick. It's the men that you attract. Trust me, it's good brothers out here. I know them. They handle their business, go to work every day, take care of their, them and theirs. You know, might have a drink or two on Saturday and Sunday, watch the game and go back to their significant other. You know what I'm saying? There's men out here that do what they supposed to do. We out here. You know what I'm saying? But you you choose to want the, the drug type. You choose, you choose to want the street dude. You choose to want the dude that ain't got a high school education or a GED. You don't want the working man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, y'all know what it is, man. I ain't gonna cook too much longer on this, man. Good fellow sports TV. Don't forget to check our sponsor, the Help Blaze at thehelpblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get your 18% off the 100% all natural products. Check them out. They got lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair part made, much, much more. Website, promo code in the description. Hey, promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You need to reach out to me. All my links in the description. Quickest way to get in touch with me is uh, email and Twitter, man. Appreciate the love, support, intro, instrumental link in the description. A lot of people ask about it. One time for the one time. Goodfellow Sports TV, we go.